Mastering the Separatory Funnel, a step-by-step -step guide with safety tips. Let's start with what a separatory funnel is. It is a glass, funnel-shaped apparatus that has a stopcock at the bottom. The separatory funnel is used to separate two immiscible liquids, such as diethyl ether and water, which will be demonstrated later during this tutorial. What are miscible liquids? They are liquids that do not mix and instead form distinct layers. This happens due to differences in their densities. The heavier liquid will sink to the bottom, while the lighter liquid floats on top. It is important to understand which solvents you are working with, as you will have both organic and aqueous layers to separate. In our case, diethyl ether is less dense than water. Diethyl ether will present itself as the top layer and water will be the bottom layer. Whenever working in the lab, always wear personal protective equipment. That includes a lab coat, safety goggles, and nitrile gloves. Make sure to avoid working near open flames, especially when handling organic solvents. Ensure good ventilation when working with volatile solvents to decrease the risk of inhaling them. Use proper gripping techniques when working with the separatory funnel. Hold the funnel securely, particularly when inverting to mix. Always be mindful of pressure buildup. Be sure to vent the funnel to release pressure by inverting it and opening the stopcock slowly aiming it towards the fume hood. Here is the equipment you will need when using a separatory funnel. A separatory funnel with a stopcock, a ring stand, a clamp, a wire triangle, your immiscible liquids, two Erlenmeyer funnels or beakers, and a plastic funnel. Now let's demonstrate how to secure the separatory funnel correctly on the ring stand. Also make sure the stopcock is properly closed before adding any liquids. To start the step-by-step -step guide, place the wire triangle on top of the ring clamp, then gently put the separatory funnel through the triangle until it sits nicely and is just touching the Erlenmeyer flask at the bottom. Adjust as needed for comfort when you use the stopcock. Make it a habit to always remove the stopper immediately when you place the separatory funnel in the holder. Pour the immiscible liquids into the separatory funnel using a plastic funnel. I used a squeeze bottle to directly pour it into the funnel for the tutorial. I tried filling it high enough for you to see the two separate layers once I add in the diethyl ether. I then pour in the diethyl ether and add the stopper on top once I am done so I can transfer it out of the wire triangle and invert it to mix the contents. Once done pouring in the liquid, place stopcock back on top of the separatory funnel. Carefully lift out the separatory funnel from the wire triangle. To mix the contents of the separatory funnel, hold the funnel properly. Hold the stopper down with one hand while holding onto the area with the stopcock in the other. Gently shake the funnel by inverting it at least three times to mix the liquids. Remember to vent during shaking to release any built-up pressure. As a reminder, make sure you are venting the end of the funnel towards the fume hood and not out in the open. Now we can let the layers sit and separate. Once the layers are separated, they can be drained. Open the stopcock slowly to drain the bottom layer into a labeled beaker. Close the stopcock when the middle of the two layers approaches. Then pour the top layer into a different beaker. And you need to re-extract, add more solvent and repeat the inversion process.
Be aware of common mistakes that can occur during this process, which include overshaking the funnel, forgetting to vent the funnel, and improperly draining the layers. First layer is done draining. Time to drain the second layer. To wrap up, we've covered the key steps for effectively using a separatory funnel. Remember to follow safety protocols and use proper techniques when in the lab. For any additional tips or questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. Thank you for watching.